Hey everyone, Cynthia here at the Nameless Homestead and today I'm here to talk to you about vaccinations. As we prepare for our 2021 kids to go off to their new homes, we are giving out CDT vaccinations. It is very important to us as a homestead to send our kids off out into their new pastures with the best possible start in life. And part of that is making sure that they are fully vaccinated. Hey, you, you're such a nuisance. I'm trying to film here. Go away, shoo. I've seen a lot of questions lately about what the vaccines for goats prevent, what the schedule is to vaccinate them, and a lot of questions about the risks and benefits of vaccinating your goats. Hello, get out of my way. So today we're gonna go over all of those things so that you can make the best and most informed decision for the health of your herd. That is assuming Puck will let me. <laughs> Which is baby. I cannot resist him even though he won't let me film. <laughs> Oh, Pucky, you stinky baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is supposed to be a video about vaccinations, not how much of a nuisance you are. Goodness sakes. Oh, did you need some snuggles, sweet baby? Oh. You're gonna make everybody want goats. They're not usually this sweet. Puck is special. Don't be fooled. No, don't be fooled. Yeah, do I, am I going to have to get out of this pasture so that I can actually film this video? Yeah, you sweet baby. All right, I got to go. We got to talk about vaccines. We got to go. We cannot be here with you, stinky face. Got to educate the public. Okay, so clearly as good as my intentions are, there's no way I'm filming this video in the pasture because <laughs> these little rod monsters are not going to let me. So let's have a change of pace. Okay, so as adorable as Puck is, he makes it darn near impossible to actually film outside in the pasture like I originally wanted, but we need to get this information out there as it's very important, so let's go. This is a bottle of CDT vaccine. You can get it over the counter at most farm and feed stores or online at places like jefferspets.com. You don't need a prescription and it's very inexpensive. This little bottle is $10 and it has enough doses for 20 goats. So first let's address exactly what we're even vaccinating against. CDT vaccination helps to prevent three illnesses. The C and D in CDT stands for Clostridium perenges. Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens. This is a very difficult word for me to pronounce. We're gonna go ahead and go with Google. Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens. That sounds wild and crazy, but we're gonna go with how that's pronounced. I might know a lot about goats, but you know, medical terminology is a crazy animal of its own. But regardless of its medical terminology, you may have also have heard these diseases referred to as enterotoxemia or overeating disease more commonly. The T in CDT stands for Clostridium tetani, which we know commonly as tetanus. Clostridium frangens, C and D, most commonly affects single kids or lambs that are nursing from very heavy milkers and animals that are on very high calorie diets. It's caused by when the Clostridium bacteria, which is naturally present in the goat's digestive tract, grows wildly out of control. This generally happens when the gut motility is slowed because of the overeating of grains, spring pasture, milk, or milk replacer. The symptoms are indigestion, convulsions, and other nervous system signs such as colic and sudden death. For tetanus, the common symptoms are stiffness and spasms, bloat, panic, unco uncoordinated walking, or the inability to eat or drink. Death is inevitable and usually the animal passes within three or four days of onset of symptoms. 
Clostridia bacteria are widespread and commonly found in soils and manure. They're also present in the digestive tracts of perfectly healthy animals. Because of this, vaccination is the best way to combat these diseases. Now, you might be wondering if there are any risks or side effects to the vaccines, and there are. However, any significant reactions are extremely rare. The most common side effect is a lump or abscess in the site of the injection. You can, however, hot tip, reduce the likelihood of a cyst or an abscess of forming by rubbing very vigorously the area where you injected the vaccine. Also, hot tip, if you show your goats, make sure to place the vaccination along the scruff of the neck rather than along in the armpit or flank of the goat because an if it's along the armpit or flank of the goat and it creates an abscess, people in the show ring could confuse that for a CL bump, which of course is a communicable disease. So make sure you place your vaccinations in an area that isn't near a lymph node, otherwise you might cause some confusion and stress for yourself later on down the road. If you all like, we can touch on CAE, CL, Jones disease, and other communicable diseases amongst goats. Be sure to hit the like button and comment down below if that's something you would like to touch on. I would be happy to make a video on that as well. The only severe reaction really to be concerned about with this vaccine is anaphylaxis. Anybody can be allergic to anything, and the same thing goes with goats. This is why epinephrine is a good idea to have in your emergency medical kit for your animal. Animals. Now let's move on to the vaccine schedule. There are two different vaccine schedules. One is for kids that were born to a mother who was vaccinated for her yearly booster a month before kidding. And the other is for kids who were born to a mother with an unknown vaccine history or who has not been vaccinated or given their yearly booster. Kids born to a vaccinated dam should receive their first vaccine at five or six weeks old, and then they should be given a booster three to four weeks later. Kids born to a dam with an uncertain vaccine history or who hasn't been vaccinated or given their booster within a month prior to kidding should be vaccinated at seven to 21 days of age and then given their booster three to four weeks later. Of course, it's also important to make sure to note that this is a vaccine that requires a yearly booster and to notate the date of the last vaccine given so that you can try to get as close to that schedule as possible, give or take a few weeks. If any of you guys are worried about vaccinating your goats or doing injections, a CDT vaccine is a super simple subcutaneous injection. And I have also done a video all about how to do subcutaneous injections. I will link to that in the card above. It is super easy, you guys. If I can do it, you certainly can. Now be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Comment down below to say hi, and be sure to ring that notification bell so that you can be notified the next time we go live or when we upload. See you next Sunday.